In this lecture, we're going to be taking a look at Jasmine's before each and after each helper functions. These will allow us to clean up our codes and make our tests execute faster. Basically, before each and after each allow us to specify some code which should run before or after each test. Let's start by taking a look at our module function. To test our Angular app, we need to include it in each test but it doesn't really make sense to include this code in each id block, so let's see if we can move it to a before each function. In the outer describe block, add before each and write the same module function. Testing Angular app. Now if we remove this code from down here, save and restart karma okay. js test karma the test should still pass great let's see what else we can improve on another problem i see is this inject function since in this test suite we're going to be testing all of our controllers functions it doesn't make sense to repeat this code in each id block so let's try moving this into before each too, but this time it needs to be part of our inner describe block since this code is specific to testing the controller. So in here, write before each, and we can just copy and paste this and paste it in the before each and remove the semicolon. Now the problem here is that the controller variable is declared inside the it block, so we need to make it globally available so that all our tests can access it. So let's define all of our variables at the top of our describe. Uh, scope and controller. Now our controller and scope will be available in the before each and in all of our tests. So let's remove them from inside our it. Save the file and let's see what happens in Karma. Looks like it can no longer find the scope.title variable, so I think I know what the problem is. We forgot to initialize scope in the before each, so let's do that now. Now let's do it the slightly more correct way, which is passing in the root scope, and then in here we can do scope equals root scope dot new to create a new child scope. If we head back to Karma, our test is now passing. Great. Now even though we don't have any cleanup code to do as yet, let's still add an after each block just so we'll find it ready for the future. So just like before each, all you need to do is declare after each and pass in a function. Now in the future lectures, if we need it, we can just put our cleanup codes in the after each function. In this lecture, we saw how using before each to set up our tests is a very helpful way of speeding up our testing process and writing neater code, which is going to be very useful going forward in this course. In one of the upcoming lectures, we're also going to be seeing how after each can also be used as a way of testing, so keep following along to find out how this works.